the video of web development with Flask. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. Uh, so in this previous videos, uh, around 10 videos, we saw how we can uh, create a fully featured web app using Python and Flask. Uh, we started with developing or talking about the Flask basics and then we jumped into user authentication using Flask, uh, how we can add a user make a user sign up and log in, handle user sessions. And then we jump to creating, deleting and updating posts or workouts in Python and Flask. And we ended with uh, how we can add a few more features called such as Flash and Pagination. Uh, in the final video, now that our uh, website or web app is completely fully built, uh, a very minimalistic uh, web app, but uh, enough which performs all the basic features. Now it is time to deploy our website onto the internet with the database. So we are going to use Heroku to do this. Uh, Heroku is a platform where you can uh, host and deploy your web applications and they give you a very, very easy way to do it. So uh, we are not going to use uh, the Heroku CLI. Uh, I think we can do this in a much more smoother way using uh, just the GUI or the, or the user interface provided by Heroku. Uh, all we need, uh, all you need to push or deploy your website to the internet or web app to the internet is a GitHub account and a Heroku account. So before we move forward with this uh, video or tutorial, make sure that you have a GitHub account ready and you also have a Heroku account ready. It's completely free to make both of them. And even today we're going to deploy our website or web app for free. So let's get started. So here I have my a folder inside which we have all the files so let's just change the name first so this is going to be push-ups logger uh, because it contains the push-ups logger app uh, with the init file and everything else so now let's move into this and we're going to write some code uh, not a lot of it but just a little bit of code to see uh, what do we need to add to this right so, ah, my bad. Uh, we don't need to go here. We need to take it a step back. Yep, and we need to go here. So we need to uh, have some files around uh, our push-up slogger app. So this is our app. Uh, let me just delete this and get out of the way. And this is something which happens on my laptop. Don't worry about it. It's, it's how. Uh, I back up my files to the drive uh, so it adds an icon file so don't worry about that so we have our push-ups logger app uh, which works perfectly and we need to add a few files so first we need to have a requirements.txt file uh, which stores all the pip packages that we have used in our app so we have used Flask, we have used Flask Alchemy, Flask Login, we have used, oh, where was that? Uh, works Gug, security, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this dot security. So we have used so many packages and we need to have requirements.tx so that we can tell Heroku that before you start the application, you need to download these packages uh, and then start the application. So. Uh, usually you what you do or what people do is uh, they use something called a spit freeze uh, and that uh, saves all the uh, names of all the packages that you have in that environment uh, if you have a virtual environment then all the packets are in the virtual environment into that requirements.txt file but I don't, usually don't use that for uh, small projects so I'll show you something better so this is open source completely open source it has an Apache license so please go through that and this guy uh, made this project called as Piprex. So it generates the TXT file for any project based on the imports, which is exactly what we want. And very easy to install, pip install Piprex, and you're good to go. And he also talks about why not pipfreeze. So pipfreeze only saves the packages that are installed with pip install in your environment. It saves all the packages in the environment, including that the ones that you don't use in your current project. And that is a problem. And sometimes we need to just create this without installing modules, right? So this is exactly what we'll be using. So here uh, we have our push-ups logger inside 
and we need to have a, a requirements or txt file on the same level so all we do is pip rex and a dot which is that uh, look inside the current folder and we press enter and we have made it so let's just see this here so we have made a requirements or txt file uh, perfect and you just need another thing so you need something called as gunicon so we just need this uh, it's a what uh, a web server gateway interface server a module which you need when you're hosting websites so all you have to do is just do pip3 or pip, uh, pip install gunicon and uh, you'll have it and then just add it here just to make sure that it's there and yeah now that we have finished our requirements or txt uh, file we just need another file which is called as a proc file so let me just write the file oh i misspelled it my bad it's proc file so uh, as you can see we already have the heroku symbol right here so the proc file is how uh, the project knows or how heroku knows that what it needs to do with the project so let me just show you what we have so web gunicon app app so i'll just tell you what all of this is about so first uh, we tell heroku that it is a website or web based project and please use the gunicon server let me show you what gunicon is again please use uh, the python web server gateway interface to host our application on the website and uh, the next is app app so the first app is your file or the folder where uh, your flask app is so we haven't made this yet we don't have an app uh, a file named app or a folder named app and the second app here is the flask app which you have which is basically this return app so this flask app so how are we going to make this let's see how we do that so we create a new file app.py and we'll just add some simple stuff so just don't mind me here just copy these simple things and just paste them here and yeah so what did we do here so from push-ups logger so from our application we import create app so create app is inside init.py so it is going to be there when we always import and then we say app equal to create app because it returns the app and if name equal to main we run our application so we have a, a place or a file where we can actually run our applications from which we need to direct this to heroku that's it so we cannot we can use flask run and uh, we can use environment variables and export the path but this is a much easier way to do it so we have uh, everything ready we have a requirements or txt file we have a proc file we have app.py which uh, runs our application you can just type python3 app.py and you know get the server running uh, now that you have done and now that we are ready with all of this all you need to do is just uh, push all of this to your github repository so i already have one here uh, the link in the description as well so all you need to do is make a new repository and push your code all of this inside a repo with the name pushups logger so Tutorials don't mind this folder. It is only uh, a tutorial or a video wise a source code which is not going to be uh, you know, used by Heroku But everything else is the same. So license is just an MIT license for the, for this icon is something I need to delete Let me just do it right now. I don't have to look at it every single time uh, Yeah, just a second guys and yeah so we have a readme we have app.py which is the same as we did we have a requirements we have pushups logger which has everything which we have made and now that you have this here we are all ready to go and deploy a website and we can do this in like really simple steps so first as i said create your own heroku account and go to the dashboard slash apps so i just have one app uh, running since uh, a month or so so we'll create a new app so go to new go to create new app uh, give it a name so let's see if push-ups logger is available so it's not 
सो इट इज गुड पप स्लॉगर तो आद प्लीज चूज अ बेटर नेम देन आई डेड आई रियली सॉरी बट पप स्लॉगर इट इज एंड लेट्स ए क्रिएट ऐप नाउ योर ऐप इज क्रिएटेड एंड यू नीड अ वे टू डिप्लॉय इट सो एज यू कैन सी वी कैन कनेक्ट आर गेट अप अकाउंट टू इट सो सिंस आई एम ऑलरेडी लॉक डेन uh i just click on github and it connects my account here but i'll just uh, have you log into your github and authorize github and heroku uh, just to make sure that you know, there's nothing in between and enter your repository name so my repository name is push up slogger so push up slogger and i search and here it is and all i have to do is just type connect and wait for this to connect now Uh, we have some options here so something called as automatic deploys so basically whenever you add a new commit to your github repository uh, you do you want heroku to automatically deploy the web app with the new commits so for example i added a new feature on my application where you can not only track uh, your workouts you can have people comment on your workouts so Once I add this inside my app, uh, all I have to do is commit the changes, and they'll be automatically uh, taken in by Heroku and deploy with the new features. So that is what we. If you want it, then click automatic deploys. I do it anyway. And which branch do you want to deploy? So we just have a master branch here, nothing else. So we'll just say deploy branch, and let's see what we get here and what how how is Heroku working with this? So. first python app detected because we had the gunicon then we use requirements.txt so it's downloading all of it uh, downloading the python platform first then we have sqlite all of the requirements that we want and some requirements that are uh, required by our requirements so all of that is happening right now and let's wait for this so we have downloaded all the packages which we need to deploy our application it is going to take like 3 more minutes now and we will be good to go so yeah let's wait for this to run properly then yeah so proc file declares type web so now heroku knows that it's a web application and it has to use gunicon to deploy it so it's compressing and it's launching it now and and we're good to go so we have pub slogger dot heroku deploy to heroku so now we can actually deploy our cr application in action so just refresh this once and uh, let's just make sure that everything is up and running so activity and uh, it is deployed successfully so click on open app and as you can see our web application has been hosted on the internet using heroku for free so popslogger.herokuapp.com is our website uh, you can go and check it out for yourself and it will, it will be definitely running from your uh, laptop as well because it is deployed to the internet and again you can go to all workouts you can create your workouts you can sign up you can log in you can do all sorts of that and uh, you just play with it add some analytics add some graphs and uh, you can see your activities here you can see the overview as you can see it is completely free there is no cost for it you can see the resources it's using nothing else free dynos how to deploy it we have been using it via github so it's very easy to do it by github and yeah so this is how you can deploy your application uh, on the internet using heroku all you need to do is have a github account Uh, push your uh, files and your folders inside a repository. Then make sure it has app.py uh, to locate the app, requirements.txt and a proc file. And then you need a Heroku account where you just go to the dashboard, go to create new app and then follow the steps, and your app will be ready. So yeah, this is how we do it. Uh, we have successfully made a simple. a uh, flask application which performs all the minimalistic features uh, a web 2.0 web app has to perform and the next set of playlist and tutorials we'll talk about how we can create a rest api only a rest api using python flask so yeah until then thank you guys and